Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you one of these wonderful scarves that you see here. They're arm knitted and I'm wearing one that I made with two strands of Lion Brand. So that's in a separate uh, Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick and that's in a separate video. This one is Premier Yarn Saturate Yarn, uh, three strands, but then I tell you in the video how you could actually do this with two strands. This one is um, three strands, no, it's four strands actually, of Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. And I think you could actually use three strands of this and have this come out, um, you know, kind of drapey like the typical ones. Um, this one is a little bit full, but some people really like them that way, so it all depends. And the reason, one of the reasons why I do so many different ones is because you don't, that'll give you a good idea what these are going to look like finished. And um, I like the way the colors changed in this one. And I love the way the texture of this one. And this one was actually done with Premier Yarns Starbella, which is typically a um, netting yarn that you use for ruffled scarves. And this was done with um, Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Yarn, three strands. And this was done with Starbella um, Lux Yarn, which is also typically a netting yarn. And this one, I went crazy with all different kinds of yarn. And I used um, Eversoft, like four strands. And then I used um, Enchant. We used three strands of that. And actually, two, um, there's four strands of um, City Life. So I just wanted to see what that would look like. And I thought the red was great to mix with the City Life. And it brought out the um, metallic and the yarns. So the possibilities are endless. And I'll go to close up now. And I'll show you how to arm knit a scarf. In this video, I'm going to show you how to arm knit a infinity cowl using Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Weight Yarn. And this is a number five bulky weight yarn. And um, I'm going to show you a little trick um, on using just the two skeins to get one scarf. And then you'll have enough to add fringe if you want to use this as a scarf versus a cowl. But you could use it either way. And this color is called Berry Burst. So one arm knitting tip that I have is to um, work with the inside and the outside strand of your yarn and let the yarn tumble into a little box or a basket or something onto the floor. So all you do to do that is reach in and grab the inside strand like this. Some come out easier than others. Okay, so there's the inside strand, and then here's the outside strand. So now I can use um, two skein, the two strands out of one skein of yarn. And then out of this one, I'm just going to take the center one for this scarf. Okay, there. So now um, I need to measure off three, let me see, I'm going to cast on nine stitches, so I need three yards. It's one yard per every three stitches that you want to cast on. So I'm going to hold all three of these together, and I'm going to measure off um, three yards. I measured off three yards of um, yarn, and this is going to be called my long tail, and I'm going to do what's called a long tail cast on. And I've got my other yarn over here, which is called my working yarn. So I've taken one strand from the center of this ball and one from the outside. And when this ball gets used up, my scarf will be finished. And um, I've just, I'm just working on the inside of this one. So now I'm going to make a slip knot at the three yard mark of my yarn here. So I'm going to take this one out. So to make a slip knot, you just make a loop like this. The top strand 
is folded across the back and you just bring that strand forward and then you'll notice when you pull on the knot side there's a knot side and a slip side so you pull the knot side and then you put this on your hand like this and you tighten this not too tight and this will count as your first stitch so to cast on all you do is go like this go on this side of this loop and reach over and pick up the other loop and let this loop drop down and put this new loop up on your arm and then go underneath like this and tighten and then again pick up go on this side reach over get this loop let this loop fall down put the new loop on your hand like this go underneath and you'll see how I tighten it like that pick this up like this go right here reach over and get this let this drop down and then tighten underneath after every single stitch you're going to tighten and reach up go on this side of this loop reach over and get this loop let this loop drop down and put this up on your arm tighten underneath Okay, reach up see the two loops go on this side of this loop reach over pick up this loop let this loop drop down put that up in your arm and tighten so I need nine loops so I have one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay now the end of this tail is not going to be used anymore so it'll just hang there and I'm going to push it to the back so you don't see it in the camera view okay now to start row one all you do is hold the working yarn here drop this loop onto the working yarn that creates a new loop right here and you take the new loop and move it over to the opposite arm then you tighten that and you do the same thing you're holding on to this you move this over let this drop and move the new loop over here hold this move this over put this up here and tighten and you want to make sure you're grabbing all three strands drop this Move this over and tighten. Drop this, move this over and tighten. Move this, move this over. Most of the time I have this tumbling into the, onto the floor inside of a box or something. So always back over here, move this off, move this over here. This, so this is all it is until you get ready to bind off. Okay, last loop off here. You don't want this um, extra loop to come in, so you want to make sure you pull these strands like this. So put that up over here, and that completes row one see that okay now I'll go back to the other side so I'm just going to hold my working yarn here drop the loop off and go back to the opposite hand arm and then drop this one over here put it over here back over here drop this over go back over here drop this drop this right here go over here so you just keep going back and forth until like I said you're gonna run out of one that one skein where you're pulling out of the middle and the outside alright 
see I have that little loop there and I got you got to make sure no extra little loops feed through on the stitches it helps when you have these down on the floor in a basket or a box and then they'll pull up easier or on your carpeting or something like that okay so this is the end of row two right here so you can see how it's starting to take shape so you just keep going back and forth until this skein runs out the one that you have the beginning and the end out and you want to stop when you get um, down to your last three yards because you're going to need that three yards to bind off so go ahead and work your scarf until you have three yards left on this ball and um, then I'll show you how to put it together in a cowl or to fringe it for a scarf. So to bind off, I've worked um, my yarn down to the um, end of the one skein where I took yarn from the beginning and from the inside and the outside. So I've finished off here and I have plenty of yarn left over in the skein that I only used um, yarn from the center. So I could, instead of a cowl, make this into a fringe scarf. So I'll show you how to make some fringe on this when I, after I show you how to um, bind off. So to bind off, you want to end up with at least three yards for your bind off and that matches what you started with for your cast on. So I just hold the working yarn like this and I'm going to knit two stitches. So I'm just going to move over here. That's one. Tighten. Knit this one. Move it over here and tighten. Okay, now after you knit the two stitches, all you do is take the first stitch that you knitted and pull it over the new the new loop the new stitch and you just drop that so that stitch is bound off right there and you don't want to pull that too tight I've seen people pull these super tight and it just it's not good because it gathers the whole side so this yarn back in this hand knit off the next stitch move that over here and then tighten a little bit there and move the previous loop over the new loop like this and let it drop off. Pick up your working yarn again. Knit the next stitch like this. Put it over here. And tighten. Take the previous loop, move it over the new loop and let it drop. Pick up your working yarn again. You always want to have your thumb facing your working yarn and hold it like this. Move this off, put this over here, tighten, take the previous loop and drop it over the new loop like that, tighten, take this loop, let that loop drop, move it over here, take the previous loop, drop it over the new loop, tighten it. Knit the next stitch off, move it over here, take the previous loop, drop it over the new loop, let it fall off, then move the next stitch over here, and then take the previous loop, let it drop over the new loop, pick up your working yarn, knit this stitch over to here, tighten, take the previous loop, drop it over the new loop. So when you get down to the very last loop, you can take the entire strand of yarn here and you could cut this to like 18 inches. And I'm just going to take the whole thing here and pull the end all the way through the last loop. And then if you pull that, not super tight, but just like that, then that'll secure that. And if you look, that bind off created all these little interlocking loops like that. So now you'll have the same amount of bind off stitches as you had cast on stitches if everything went well. And if you wanted to, this is probably about five feet long, which is a great length for a scarf or for wrapping the cowl around your neck one time. 
Um, if you wanted it longer, you could have started with two skeins of yarn. I mean, three. Or you could have um, tied this on and kept going with uh, three strands of this somehow. But anyway, um, so on the, this is the right side, it's the knit side. And then this side over here is called the purl side. So on the knit side, if you wanted to put fringe, you want to line this all up here. Okay. So to make the fringe, all you need to do is take a double strand. I've got the inside and the outside of this. And I'm just, I found this notebook and I like this length here for my fringe. So I would just um, take anything you could use uh, the lengthwise of a, a size of a checkbook or just anything, a uh, piece of cardboard. So I would just wrap this around several times like this to create my fringe. And then you just cut on one side like this. Okay, and cut from the skein. So now I have all these strands and then you can change um, the amount of yarn that you have in each fringe. And I have the right side facing me. So I, let's say I would take four strands for my fringe. And then I'll have a crochet hook. Or you could actually do this by hand. You don't even really need a crochet hook. Um, so you would pull, have the folded strand in your hand, take the fold and bring it from the front to the back of your scarf like this, and then take the whole eight strands like this, because you've got four when it's single and eight when it's double. So you take all four, all eight, and pull them through that loop there. And see how it makes like a little fringe tassel like that. Now before you tighten this up, you could just take this end from your scarf and just incorporate that into the fringe on the end. And you can do it on the opposite end also. But that's how you would um, put fringe and you would just put it all the way across the cast on stitches and then across the bind off stitches over there. So that's how you make the fringe. And now if you wanna make it into a cowl, you want to line this all up so the knit side is all facing one side like this. So that's the right side of this. And then you want to flip it over. You want wrong sides. Um, you want to sew this together on the wrong sides. So sometimes the ends land up on facing each other like right here. They're on the same end. Or sometimes it lands up where one end is down here and one is up here. So when they land up together like this, I just tie them together to start and that gives them some security there. Okay, so then I'm gonna weave this one in later, but basically just to weave it in, you wanna match up the stitches, uh, the cast on stitches with the bind off stitches. And I just figured out this technique in my last video. I'm just going to take this strand of yarn and I'm going to just push it through. I've got uh, strands from each side. I'm going to go underneath it like this and then I'm going to make a, bring a loop through and then I'm just going to take my end here and then bring that all the way through and it makes like a little bit of a knot there. And then I'm going to go to the next stitch and do the same thing. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to pull a loop out and then I'm going to bring my yarn through and then pull like this. And then I'm just going to go all the way down like that same way. Just like that. So I'm going to go all the way down and then I'm going to go over a couple of times to um, join the two sides together. And then when you flip it over the right side, you really don't see a whole lot there because the loops are so loose anyway. So that's how you create a beautiful arm knitted cowl. And I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure you watch all the arm knitting videos because I've been doing so many of them. 
And I've done one afghan so, so far, but my plan is to do um, a few more afghans because I really think it's a lot of fun. And I've been teaching anybody who wants to learn how to do this on video or my friends have been learning, my daughter. But it's a lot of fun. But anyway, um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And I want to thank you very much for watching. So I hope that you enjoyed your arm knitting lesson. If you have any questions or comments, just write them below and please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you watch all of our tips and all of the other arm knitting um, scarves and Afghan um, videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'm back over here and I'm going to knit off one more stitch like this, put it over here, tighten over the whole strand of yarn and then pull that strand of yarn all the way through and then just for extra um, security 